For the record, my name is D.T. Harris. I'm the Deputy Chief of Police of Patrol Operations here for the Sea Pleasant Police Department. Uh, preliminary, as we go forward, a short time ago, uh, just before 3 p.m., our officers were dispatched here to Addison Plaza Shopping Center for a report of a shooting. Uh, when we arrived, we identified one adult male who was suffering from a gunshot wound to his upper body. That male was then transported, treated and transported to an area hospital where he is now considered uh, critical but in stable condition. Shortly thereafter, we received a phone call uh, from an area hospital in the District of Columbia where another victim has been identified. That victim was treated, uh, is being treated at the, at the hospital at this time. Uh, at this time, the information that I have is that we have identified four victims, two who are juvenile and two are, who are, are adults. All victims are area hospitals being treated. Uh, all are considered critical, but in stable condition. Any questions? Yes, sir, uh, you, you indicated that you trans one was transported, one showed up, but what about the other two? The other two, from my understanding, the information that we have now, they were uh, left the scene and showed up at an area hospital. Um, did this uh, shooting have anything to do with the, uh, the uh, report of another victim at the 5300 Dix uh, in the Northeast? I believe so. The victim uh, that was identified in the District of Columbia, that is who we're talking about, who was in D.C. and was treated there and taken to an area hospital. So four total. Four total. Um, any any word on motive or why this happened? Well, I'll, I'll tell you that what we have identified at this time is that this was a shootout, not just a shooting. Um, and it is still a very fluid scene. Our investigators are still on scene. Prince George's County Police uh, have been notified. They're assisting C. Pleasant with the investigation. And as more information comes, we'll certainly let you guys know. So how many shooters do you think you had? At this time, I don't, I, we're not fully sure how many shooters we have. I can tell you that we do have four individuals with gunshot wounds. But you're saying that you think there are at least two shooters because you said it was a shootout. At this, at this time, yes. At this time, Would we have, uh, yes, sir. At this time, we have recovered one gun here on the scene. Um, is that why the casings appear to be in two different spots primarily? Yes, yes. So one here, one there, and then crossfire in the middle? Yes, sir. That's exactly correct. And I can tell you, it was very fluid. There were multiple people who were going running back and forth, and that's why you see this crime scene is so large, um, so that we could, we had to span it out a little bit. It looks like you have pretty good uh, video coverage here, or have you talked to witnesses, and what's the state of your... At this time, we have several witnesses we are interviewing uh, to get information from. We are, at this time, reviewing uh, uh, footage related to the incident. Um, that's all I can uh, give you at this time. Do you have anything, uh, you have a lookout on the shooters or anything? No, no information on the shooters at this time. The, the man who was transported, uh, critical, uh, do you have an agent? Uh, the adult males, I do not have uh, the current age. I know the juveniles are between 14 and 15 years old. But no idea if, if they were the shooters or the, uh, the, the other one that was the shooters? Not right now. Do you have conditions? You said one is critical. Do you have conditions on any? Each, Do you know if any are non-life threatening? Each are considered critical but stable at this time. Each uh, each of our four victims. Each are critical? Yes. Non-life threatening? You don't have Non-life threatening. Do you, can you give us any sense of, do you, of what transpired here, how it came down? What can you tell us? Uh, not at this time. All I know is that there were folks shopping here and then uh, the, the shooting occurred. Um, from the information that I saw at this time. But being a shootout, that seems to suggest that it wasn't a robbery. No, it was not. I don't believe it is. Uh, is it possible any of those four were bystanders? Do you know that? I do not believe so at this time. Thanks, guys. Anything? Wait, wait, wait. You, you don't believe they were bystanders? I don't believe they were bystanders. I believe everyone who is uh, at this time who has been identified was actually involved some, in some way. So where does this go now, Chief? What do you do next? What are the next steps? We have investigators from the Sea Pleasant Police Department and Prince George's County and we're currently still investigating the scene. More information is certainly to come. Shortly uh, thereafter, we will release more information as more information becomes available uh, on our social media platforms and you guys can get in contact with our public information office. Thank you. Thank you.